Good morning, and on behalf of Pastor Byron L. Broussard, welcome to today's worship celebration. Communicating with the Love Center is now easier than ever. Please text the words pray, love, or donate to 404 594 Text the word pray to send your prayer request. Text the word love for information on salvation. Or text the word donate to support our ministry. After you text the word donate, you will receive a text message with a link. Click the link. This will take you to an online form that you can complete including your amount and billing information. Once you have completed the form, click the submit button at the bottom. After submitting your donation, you will receive a text message that confirms what you have given. We will begin the celebration of Black History Month on first Sunday with Holy Communion. On the second Sunday, please represent your favorite HBCU. On the third Sunday, bring your family and friends to worship. And on the fourth Sunday, wear your African attire. Parents, please sign up your children and teens today in the foyer so they can participate in Heritage Month. Let's celebrate our history and heritage together. This has been Love Center News, keeping you informed. These are the things that we are keeping in prayer this week at the Love Center. This is Haiti, and this is how rich cruise ship tourists, the relatively few who visit, get to see it, at a private beach on the northern coast. And this is the reality, just a few kilometers away in the capital, Port-au-Prince, for most people in Haiti. Violent gangs are in control of the streets, skyrocketing prices for food mean most people are hungry and miserable. Now to the standoff between the federal government and the state of Texas at the southern border. The Biden administration is demanding that Texas allow Border Patrol agents full access to a crossing point in the border town of Eagle Pass and is currently being blocked by the Texas National Guard. It was South Africa who brought the case before the International Court of Justice, accusing Israel of committing genocide in Gaza. But Israel calls the allegations false and grossly distorted. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel has an inherent right to defend itself, also saying Israel's commitment to, to international law is unwavering. The preliminary decision... Candidates, the Falcons decided tonight that Raheem Morris was the right one to lead the charge. Morris said in a statement, quote, I am overjoyed for the opportunity for my family and I to return to Atlanta as the Falcons head coach. We know from firsthand experience what a first class organization Atlanta is and what this team means to its city and to its fans. And we Shaka Zulu was an extraordinary leader and warrior from South Africa. He is known for his military prowess and his role in establishing the Zulu Kingdom. Shaka implemented innovative tactics and training methods, which transformed the Zulu warriors into a formidable force. He introduced the use of the short stabbing spear, known as the Asagai, and organized the warriors into disciplined formations called Impis. Shaka's military strategies, such as the Buffalo Horns Formation, allowed the Zulu warriors to achieve numerous victories. Good morning, Love Center. If you've ever had the opportunity to witness one of the productions that we've done here at the Love Center, then you know it takes a large effort from a lot of different people to make it happen. Well, we're gearing up for our next production, and we want you to be a part of it. So if you have any interest in drama and arts, from acting to set design to all of the things that go into making our productions what they are, we want you to sign up today, immediately after worship. Come on out, be a part of what God is doing through this ministry. We'll see you there. <laughs> 